Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to do a little bit more talking about um, First Spoken. So I, I've put out a few videos. I've uh, I've talked to, you know, I've, I've been listening to how people are talking over on Twitter, stuff like that. And it appears that uh, First Spoken seems to have a PlayStation 5 problem. And we're going to talk about that. And I'm going to tell you exactly what that means and why and why it is going to potentially be an issue this whole generation. So, first of all, um, the PlayStation 5 platform, it's not a bad platform. It's its actually, you know, fairly decent, fairly powerful. Uh, when you start getting into games like, like these bigger open world games that are going to have big, wide open maps and, and uh, still want to be able to maintain that 60 frames per second, uh, you, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have to accept a lower, you're, you're gonna have a lower re resolution on a lot of these games, um, that, then, then normally, <clears throat> then you would, then, then you're normally used to, um, and, and a lot of that, you know, is gonna be caused by the, by the really long cross generation that we've had, and, uh, being able to to play a lot of these games and have them you know be like whoa man that like like you'd be like well ubisoft's uh, assassin's creed valhalla it was um it was it was it was open world and it it looked beautiful even on even on the uh performance mode at 60 frames a second and and that's true that that is that is true you know you've got you know you've got some pretty big open world games out right now that that really do look good on a playstation 5 uh, that look good on Series X, everything else. <clears throat> but the truth of the matter is, is this here is truly what I, I, I believe this is the first true native PlayStation 5 experience that isn't, you know, closer to closer to a tech demo than than a lot of the other stuff that's been out there. So I'm. I've, uh, you know, like, we, we, yeah, I mean, we've had Returnal and we've had. We've had Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and we've had some of the uh, some of the other stuff, you know, like um, like Death Loop and all of all of these other games that have come out, and they've essentially been like PlayStation Five games. I, I get what you're saying, like I like I understand that, but at the same time, I also feel like we've uh, we haven't really truly experienced an actual 4K native, or um, we haven't actually truly experienced. A next-gen open world and you're probably thinking like well what's what's different from Forspoken than than any other open world well look at the speed at which you can travel with her like you can you can get going pretty dang quick faster than you can in in a lot of the other games and I'm I'm almost assuming that you can even probably get a lot faster than this a lot faster than this as well I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure that you know as you build your character the speed might actually increase the, the stuff that you'll be able to pull off, the particle effects that, that, that you can see coming off at the same time while you're playing. Like this, this is a lot, this is a lot more demanding than, than your typical open world game. And I, and I feel that way. I, I do feel that way. I do feel like this game is, is, is pretty demanding uh, when it comes to like your, your average open world game. Like this, this does feel... This does feel pretty demanding. Like I, I feel like the the way the how fast you can move and and you know the camera zoomed out as far as it is. Like I do feel like this game right here is going to, um, it is going to be, is going to be pretty heavy on on the on any system that's running it. And I'm honestly thinking I already did buy this on on the PlayStation Five, but I am honestly thinking that I might pick this up on pc too just to see how heavy it is to run on the pc with my uh what is all this Incoming. i should i haven't even been over here to look at all this yet yeah, what he I like this game here, dude. I like this combat. I think it is so cool. I <clears throat> I really am liking this game a, a, a lot. Like I I like this. I feel like this is a I feel like this is a true next gen game that um, 
that no deserves to be played. Now, whether 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 you like it or not, but that's that's the thing. Now, let's get back to the the thing at hand. Like we're we're talking about the reason why the play like this has a PlayStation Five problem. This has a PlayStation Five problem because of PlayStation. PlayStation first party developers they have more time, more money, more everything when it comes to crafting their games and they don't have to build a big giant open world like like you got in in Forspoken. They they build these smaller open worlds that that look really pretty and so I've been saying this from from the get-go that I believe Forspoken and and other games are going to suffer from from being on the PlayStation 5 and being trapped on the PlayStation 5 and you not being able to Dang, I really want to go that way. I really want to go that way. Come on. Come on, I paid my $70 tax. Let me go over there. <laughs> PlayStation PlayStation first party games are are amazing visually and everything else, but yeah, that makes these games the the tough cold hard reality that you're going to have 1080p all the way down to 720p depending on how demanding the game is and you can say that's not right all you want like you can argue with me till you're blue in the face man obviously at 10.2 teraflop or 10.228 teraflops for the playstation 5 and then being able to see what 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 others you know other rdna2 chipsets are doing for for games last generation like yeah man like you you really think that you really think that this PlayStation is going to punch farther above its weight than a than a five hundred dollar graphics card? I I don't know, man. That's that's kind of wishful thinking to me. Like there's all kinds of there's all kinds of uh, um, tricks and, and and magic that they can work to make these things look better and all that. But I just do not feel like you are gonna get. I, I don't feel like you're gonna get like this this unrealistic um I, I i feel like you need to keep your expectations in line when it comes to when it when it comes to these these open world games on the on the ps5 and stuff man and i it does suck because square enix basically with this game is kind of at the mercy of the power of the playstation 5 and and how weak that thing is and that that really sucks I like this this is so cool get all the way up here to get our little box of candy you cannot travel beyond this point but I can get to right here and then you get out here and you look down and stuff so one of the biggest things that everybody's talking about when it comes to first spoken is the land is the landscape and and let's be honest man like yeah dude from far away it doesn't I, I said the same thing on my first video. I was like, yeah, dude, it's not really super appealing at all. Like, it, it looks barren. It looks bland. It looks empty. Whatever. Like, it, it does. Like, there's there's nothing to hide that. But you want these guys to make these super freaking high quality, high quality games that are, that are big open worlds and stuff. And, like, seriously, dude, I like this a lot more than I like them little movie games. <laughs> I am liking this a lot more. Dang, I almost died. It's a good thing I got that. that. Something's there. Something's there. Yes, there is. Get away from me, you little freaking weirdos. Ooh, a piece of candy box. I'm just going to get that and beat out of here. I like this game, man. I like the travel, the traversal of this game. Like, I'm so sold on that, and I'm so sold on, on like, the... On the combat and stuff, like it just looks like it's gonna. I've I've seen a couple other people's videos, you know, showing like the combat off and stuff, and <laughs> it just it looks so cool. <laughs> like this game really does look so freaking cool. I feel like I feel like I'm playing like a a realistic looking Sonic man because I can like zoom so fast, and you're just running through this stuff, and like the speed, the sense of speed is so much better than than any other game we've we've ever had for for walking around and stuff. And you've got and and there's like a there's like a hoverboard we'll be able to get on here like man i don't yeah i mean like the world the world building is is something that like yeah man it really does bug me a lot like to be completely honest with you i do wish this world looked a lot better but what, what do i do man like do i give up being able to um 
do I give up being able to run fast like this and and explore and have fun for for some pretty visuals, man? Like I don't, I don't know, man. Some of these games are built are built like are built this way for for a reason, man. And focusing on the gosh dang pretty visuals all the time, I just man, I feel like Sony's kind of ruining gaming like that, man. I do. I feel like Sony's kind of kind of ruining gaming with with all these movie games man i i do i really do feel that way and it and it sucks because i like those games too but at the same time if you can see i this is the only way like they're ruining they're, they are ruining gaming because everybody expects that quality because that's all i ever hear from the little playstation fanboys over on twitter or anywhere else man is it's quality it's quality it's quality and i'm like dude what what define quality for me because i'm having a hard time trying to figure out exactly what what you're talking about when you're talking about quality are you talking about are you talking about visuals are you talking about like actual freaking quality are you like what are we talking about guys like it, they it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me like this right here to me it looks pretty dang quality being able to freaking like the way this movement works and everything like this is pretty quality whoa look at that Look at that. That looks like another one of those boss things. I think it might be time for some extreme evasive maneuvers. Oh no shit. I do feel pain, you know. Let me guess. Mentally at least. You know me so well. Oh, this is. Oh, look at that. I get to find out uh, another boss. Well, do something. I don't like the look of this. Dang, that one hits hard too. Dude, this is cool. <laughs> I didn't know this guy was sitting over here. I thought this area was blocked off. So I didn't even try to come over here. I've only played like... I mean, like seriously, dude. I've only played like about a couple hours. Like not even a couple hours on this, man. Dude, this is cool. Look at this guy, man. He looks so freaking cool. Gosh, you guys got a bonus on this one. Dude, this one's freaking cool, man. I like this one. Boom! Donkey! Take that, donkey! You can catch him in that bubble and then it freaking trashes him. Dude, that's so cool. Oh, sheesh. Ooh, man. Get him trapped in that little bubble. Dude, and then that should take off some of his life. It worked really good with the alligator. The alligator boss. Dude, this is so freaking cool, man. Dude, he got me. Go up, me. Oh no, man! Gosh dang, that was so bad, so sad, dude. But yeah, dude, I just I feel like I feel like Forspoken suffering from from a PlayStation problem, guys. I feel like it's suffering from like the PlayStation problem that they that they created for all these developers, and then they force you know well I'm. They don't force them. Obviously, freaking PlayStation took that, or they took that PlayStation money to make this game exclusive on, on the PlayStation Five. But 
oh come on man like you, you know what i mean guys like this this just sucks this just sucks that that everybody's passing on on this game just because just because of the way like the world looks and stuff man this game plays so cool i really really love that so the alligator's back too like once you beat him you're you're pretty much you're pretty much done with the demo and then so you go back to your last save so man i don't know man i really like this game i really 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 like this game I really like the 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 sense of speed you get when you're running through here like that to me is freaking cool being able to bounce around and stuff in the combat between the between the traversal and the combat I really 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 like this game Whoa. yeah man uh, it's just it's just fun it's just fun and they grade you on the yeah i don't know man there's a lot going on in this game that i think that if you pass it up you're you're gonna regret it you're gonna regret it well i mean you might not regret it because i mean clearly once it's out you'll be able to buy it and you'll probably be able to get it on sale and stuff too but like i think this is cool i don't think that it's gonna get any better visuals i feel like this is what you're gonna get at launch i'm not i mean i bought it paid for it even though and I, and I know i know that this is what this is gonna look like at launch and i have no problem with that i have no problem with that but in conclusion yeah man i think this one here is gonna suffer from the uh this one's gonna suffer from the from the playstation effect man it doesn't look good like a playstation game so i don't want to buy it because i'm i i want the playstation game and i'm like dude you can you you seriously if you wanted yeah dude i i feel like you're just you're just gonna have to deal with that man that's the experience you get on the playstation 5 it is very it's it's not very consistent you get really beautiful playstation games and everything else is hit or miss so that really sucks and it sucks that this one here is falling into that but i think that this game here is probably the first true playstation 5 game to to launch and uh, I really like it. So, all right, man, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.